Hey there. I have a question. Was Kevin Samuels, the self-proclaimed image consultant, was he a general in the war on black women? So that question kind of popped into my mind. Um, honestly, um, his was a name that was new to me that I only began hearing about approximately a year or so ago, just here and there, and I honestly didn't really even pay any attention to it uh, until recent months, and, and even just a little bit in recent months. Terms that I saw associated with him were high value, or high value woman, or high value man. Um, I wondered what qualities a woman needed to have a high value, so I looked it up. What I found from another self-proclaimed relationship guru was a detailed list that said the following, traits of a high value woman, personal appearance is pleasing, is conscientious about health, cares about others, is emotionally stable, uses good grammar and has a grasp of the English language, radiates positivity and encourages others, has good social skills, she plays little games, whatever that means, um, knows when to set boundaries, is emotionally intelligent, has a growth mindset, and doesn't take things personally and a bonus a bonus for a high value woman was that she has an unapproachable style which that kind of seems like an oxymoron um, and anyway so um, a non high value woman according to this particular guru who was not Kevin Samuels but who I assume assumed were pulling uh, this, this criteria from a maybe a community set of criteria the non high value woman um, or what makes her non high value uh, was having a good career so having a good career does not make you high value it makes you non high value um, has vast knowledge makes you non high value comes from a good family makes you non high value and is smart makes you non high value well that uh, was kinda shocking um, anyway uh, one of the main things Kevin Samuels listed about a high value woman was I guess their level of attractiveness and I also heard was I guess whether they had children or whether they'd been previously married or whether they um, maybe had other things or didn't have the career so anyway um, I was like I was like wow does this criteria really make someone high value and so I suppose it depends on what path you are on. Um, I guess on some level, everyone has a checklist. So my inquiry into this man really became more appalling as I was reading and hearing other things. So I'm going to quote uh, one particular lady who has a blog. Uh, her name is uh, C. Saunders and her blog spot is called Whispers of a Womanist and I'm going to quote her directly on this particular point she said rather than using his words to lift a young lady knocked down by imbalanced standards Samuels contributes to the epidemic facing black people with his words and ideology this brings me to my next point says Miss Saunders black women remain held to impossible standards simply non-existent to women of other races when African adjacent women 
approach or interact with black men, the issue is not whether they are average, a mother, overweight, a high earner, under or over educated, rather their appeal lies in their non-blackness. Samuels upholds this imbalance with his praise of mixed race and non-black women of all ages and circumstances as better romantic investments than black women." End quote. Ms. Saunders also suggested that it was uh, Mr. Samuel's verbal attacks on black women that was highly unsettling. Samuel's, Mr. Samuel's, that is, suggested that his manner and presentation were the most important thing. And even looking at Mr. Samuel's, looking at the pictures and um, whatever his particular charisma was, um, Miss Saunders suggested in another way, but I'm going to put it this way. She basically um, suggested that he exuded a certain feminine flair. So that statement reminded me of the now, what I think is an outdated term, of metrosexual. Uh, because I was so curious to understand what all the hoopla was about regarding this man, I looked back at some of his images and also listened to some of his content. Uh, he did seem to exude the masculinity one would expect of someone calling himself an image consultant for women or for men. Excuse me, let me say that again. He did not seem to exude um, the masculinity. I mean, that may or may not mean anything. But in that way, and based on what I saw, I did kind of agree with Miss Saunders. Uh, we should definitely know that clothes and style are external adornments. It is what on what is on the inside of a person that really counts. Anyone who calls themselves a guru is taking on a curious responsibility that should require that they meet the criteria for their so-called calling. The information on Kevin Samuel's post-death seems to contradict the image that he tried to present to the world. This seems to be a common thing theme, excuse me, theme, this seems to be a common theme among gurus of all kinds. Are gurus posers who manipulate others' emotions and collect financial rewards by doing so? You might be interested to uncover a pattern of behavior that was found to exist among many so-called gurus. It is disturbing. I suggest you check that out. I watched a video where Mr. Samuels was dressed very professionally and he was drinking a Red Bull. He was chastising a woman of approximately 35 years of age for wanting to speak with him on disagreement day or something like that. He proceeded to essentially insult her about her appearance and she was dressed really nicely. Um, but I guess that wasn't it. So he was uh, verbally uh, looking down on her in spite of her accomplishments and um, kind of calling her out for her desire for a six-figure man. She was herself a business owner of about nine years. He seemed to judge her more on her appearance than on her worth as a woman or on what she had accomplished for herself. What I found appalling about his content is that this person that he was talking to had accomplished something that was worth applauding her for and yet he pulled her down. He called her average at best. He insulted her appearance and essentially asked her what right 
had she to desire a certain type of man. He was condescending and rude. His entire platform that is lauded and applauded by many men and even some women seemed to have been built on being condescending and rude. Why can one not speak to others with respect of their humanity? Why was his platform built on insulting women, primarily black women? And why was this exciting seemingly to black men? To be honest and to be fair, Mr. Samuels was also average at best. His speech was ugly and unkind, making him even more unattractive. But that, of of course, is just my opinion. To me, how you treat people is the most important thing about you. Three points on the previously mentioned checklist of the high value woman that are debatable to me as it pertains or past tense pertained to Mr. Samuels was um, that a high value woman cares about others and so this will be demonstrable in your speech and behavior Uh, this self proclaimed image consultant did not demonstrate that Uh, also radiates positivity I did not see that and lastly one of the other things that stood out to me was attractiveness which is largely a matter of perception I totally agree but if you are verb verbally assaulting and slaying people without just cause you are not attractive that completely takes you off of the list of attractiveness this war of words against others is destructive this war on women is genocidal in a way if you really think about it women are the vessels that bring life onto this planet nobody gets here without a woman bringing them into the world and yet women are targeted and abused verbally physically was mr samuels telling it like it truly was or was that a gimmick was he using inflammatory language to create buzz men respected him and loved him for this why even some women loved him why he seemed to be a general in the war against black women specifically I did not come to that conclusion lightly people's behaviors tell the story of who they are Mr. Samuel's words were not nor was his presentation of himself to the world transparent His very self-proclaimed title of image consultant was in itself a proclamation of himself and of what he wanted to show others how to also be. So to me, he was presenting a false image of himself and teaching others to do the same. His passing seemed to reveal the inconsistencies more clearly. I noticed how hurt some men were about his passing and I saw posts and heard videos of women applauding his passing. It is insane to me and I just couldn't understand what was happening and how we came to this place. I saw video images of men lined up to attend his funeral with their colorful and very polished suits. I was amazed by what I saw. To my eyes, I saw men who were saddened 
by the loss of their hero, by someone who helped lead them. Their relationship Messiah was gone and they were angry. I asked myself out loud, what is going on? What is this? What is happening? Are people so lost and looking so much outside of themselves that they do not understand what to look for in another person, in a potential partner? If you cannot find it within yourself, should you be looking for it in another person? If you are not a quality person or a self-actualized person, should you be making that demand of another person? If you do not have it, should you expect it from a partner? If you are it, your perfected self, then you will have no problem recognizing the qualities you desire in another person. With that said, sometimes people put on airs and pretend that they are this or that in order to catch the attention of another person. People, male or female, may pretend they are kind or generous. They smile a lot. They give you things, gifts to reel you in. They pretend they have money to burn, all to reel you in. In many cases with the goal of trying to get you to fall for them. Once they think they have you, they may in fact flip the script and reveal who they really are. This happens way too often. My 76 year old mother says that the younger generation of people have no staying power. I told her that I think that we just do not know how to pick our partners. Our initial choosing is flawed. We overlook the warning signs because a person looks good, feels good, they may have a good career, great car, nice house. Attractiveness is important, but real attractiveness is an inside job. Someone who has all of those external qualities but treats you and others like garbage is not a it's not a catch. That person turns out to be a nightmare. That person is the person that you should back away from, preferably when you first start seeing the signs. Sex is potent bait for someone who has difficulty controlling their sex drive. Learning how to take the edge off of your sexual desire without compromising on who and what you really want in a mate is the thing to do. I'm reminded of that song by Lauren Hill and that line where she says, how you gonna win if you ain't right within? Come again. She was right. Mr. Samuels allegedly died in the embrace of a young nurse at the prime age of 56. 56 is basically midlife. Someone who is healthy, fit, and meticulous in their health should not die at this age or in this way. His followers should have questioned what could they learn from all of these things that were revealed. When the troops follow their general to war, they can very easily become a casualty. All people deserve respect, even if they are not who or what you would choose in a partner. Everyone has something or even many things that make them unique and special. In order to find those qualities of uniqueness and specialness in others, we ourselves should be well developed, self-actualized, and be able to self-regulate our own behaviors first and foremost. There are almost always signs surrounding the true nature of people. We should not ignore them and we should not look over 
the signs that are there, we should remember to reflect the qualities that we want others to desire. Accept the love or leave with the lesson. After all, relationships are the mode by which socio-emotional, personal growth, self-expansion, and even society itself is built upon. Have a wonderful day, and please remember, transparency and what you give to the world is what counts. And when you give to the world in a self-aware manner, the world should give the same back to you. And if it doesn't, walk away until it does. Thank you. If you found this video worthwhile, please comment and subscribe and remain beautiful. Have a wonderful day.